Today I will guide you on how to download Microsoft Security Essentials for Windows XP in freedownloadzone.com. First, we need to open up your Internet Explorer or your preferred web browser by double-clicking its icon on your desktop. Once it is open in this address bar, type in there www.freedownloadzone.com and go to that website. So here, if you are an existing member, you just need to click on Members Login. But uh, if you are not a member, you need to sign up by clicking up on Join Now. So I will click Members Login, enter my email address, and click on Log. After you have logged in, you just need to type in the search box, Security, and then click on Search. So you will see here, you scroll down, you will see here the two installers for the Microsoft Security Essentials. One is for Windows Vista and one is for Windows XP. So my, my operating system is Windows, X, Windows XP, so I will choose this one. So afterwards, you will see here a blinking button, Download for Windows, click on it. So it will ask you if you want to run, save, or cancel the file. Just click on Save. Select Desktop as your destination folder. Then click on Save. So after the download finishes, you can click on, op on Run. And then uh, a security warning will pop up. Just click on Run again. Now the setup is here. So just minimize this window first. So this is the installation. Just need to click on the next. And then this is the license agreement for the Microsoft Security Essentials. Just click, click on accept. And then it will validate your Microsoft Windows. If you have a genuine copy of this Windows XP that it will proceed. If not, it will not process it or validate it. So we need to validate it. Click on validate. So this is the validation status. So I have passed the uh, validation status and I will click on install now. So the uh, installer checks the uh, status or it installs the Microsoft Security Essential Components. Let's just wait for it to finish. So after the installation, you will see here an option, scan my computer for potential threats after getting the latest updates. So you just need to click on finish. So first it is updating and downloading the components for the updates. Let's just wait for it to finish again. So after the updates has been uh, completed, it will proceed to the quick scan. So it's scanning right now. So as you can see here, it detected a potential threat. So before cleaning it, let's uh, check the details first. So let's uh, quarantine it for a while. Just wait for it to uh, do its scanning and uh, quarantine. So now the action that I selected to quarantine this uh, file was successful. So let's proceed or wait for the uh, scanning, the quick scan to finish. So as you can see here, the uh, scan is uh, almost done. Just a couple of files left. So let's just uh, wait for it because uh, the scan 
time will depend on the uh, size of the drive that you are scanning and also the uh, files that are there so the bigger the file the the longer time it takes to scan but that's all right so let's just wait for this to finish okay right so the uh, Microsoft Security Essentials has finished scanning so it detected uh, two threats let's check them out so you can uh, check them out by show details and then here you can uh, what you can do here is uh, there are recommendations here you can uh, either uh, remove it quarantine it or allow it so of course you need to remove them so uh, if you have uh, selected them then just click on apply actions so this is the progress of the deletion let's just wait for it so this will uh, show you that the actions that you selected were applied correctly so just uh, click and close so now I will show you the tabs or the features of this uh, Microsoft Security Essentials. First, uh, this is the Home tab, which shows you the scan options. It's either the Quick that uh, checks uh, the malicious software, including viruses, spywares, and some unwanted threats. And then the Full Scan. This checks all the uh, running programs and your whole system. And then the custom scan gives you the uh, privilege or the option of uh, checking specific file areas of your computer. And then here, the update. So this is where you will update the virus definitions of your Microsoft Security Essentials. You just need to click on update now. But uh, we have just updated it earlier in the installation, so no need to update it. So the history, this is uh, gives this gives you the list of uh, the the detected items that were cleaned. Then the settings, so this gives you a uh, scheduled scan. You can schedule the scan, whether it's daily or any day, and then uh, the time, what kind of scan, quick scan or a full scan. And then other uh, actions here, default actions, real-time protection, it's checked. And then also you can exclude files that uh, you don't want to be scanned. Also here, get this uh, advanced options gives you the option if you want to scan archives. Archives are those files that are compressed. Then removable drives, let's check it. And also, it gives you an option to create a restore point. And also, here allows all users to view full history results. So let's just save the changes. And then let's go back to home. So that concludes the uh, guide on how to download and install the Microsoft Security Essentials as well as uh, its features its uh, scanning options, the, how to update it, the history or the results of the scan and also the settings of this uh, program.